After 21 hours and 19 minutes standing on his feet, Ted Cruz finally sat down. Much of his talkathon was against Obamacare. Because it's a red herring being used to move the country to single payer system. Heidi but the memorable moments were those that veered off topic. I wanted to take an opportunity, an opportunity that I don't usually have when I'm in D.C., to read them a couple of bedtime stories. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam I am. He tried his own Dr. Seuss. They did not like Obamacare in a box with a fox, in a house or with a mouse. This was all about firing up the grassroots. He encouraged supporters to tweet him. All right, so let me read some tweets. Obamacare, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> all caps and three exclamation marks. Make D.C. listen. Most Republicans oppose Cruz's Way mission, to trying to defund Make Obamacare on a must-pass spending bill. They worry it could cause a government shutdown and they'd get the blame. And they worried it's mired in process that's hard to explain. Case in point, in the end, he joined all senators in voting for a procedural measure he seemed to argue against. That's why only a few came to help. Some GOP veterans, but mostly other Republicans with ambition, trying to appeal to the GOP base. What possibly do you have that's more important to do? Now, I suspect some of our colleagues are at a fundraising dinner. By 1 a.m., he got punchy. Point out just a few words of wisdom from Duck Dynasty. Redneck rule number one. Most things can be fixed with duct tape. And extension cords. When the sun came up, even more so. I will confess that phrase, a rebellion against oppression, conjured up to me the rebel alliance fighting against the empire. Mike Lee, I am your father. How do you feel standing there for so long? Dana, to be honest, I feel terrific. I feel energized that the American people had an opportunity, I hope, to engage in this debate and to have their voice heard. But back on the floor, Cruz was scorched from all sides. Democrats... Mr. President, for lack of a better way of describing this, it has been a big waste of time. The government is set to shut down in a matter of hours. And Republicans. John McCain was furious that Cruz likened GOP detractors to Britain's Neville Chamberlain in World War II, who argued for appeasement of Adolf Hitler. Let's appease them. Why? Because it can't be done. We can't possibly stand against them. And in America, there were voices that listened to them. McCain said that insulted Americans who fought. Amongst them were my father and grandfather. I do not agree with that comparison. I think it's wrong. And I think it's a disservice to those who stood up and sh shouted at the top of their lungs that we cannot appease.